Let's get out to NBC News foreign correspondent Josh Letterman. He is in Greece on these wildfires we have been talking about for a few weeks now. Josh, first of all, I understand we weren't even sure we'd be able to discuss this with you live because of the conditions where you are. You potentially were going to have to move, but we know we can see behind you these are still burning strong. Thousands of people being forced to evacuate. Tell us the latest that you are seeing there on the ground. Well, we had to move a few times. It just goes to show you, Savannah, just how quickly uh, this fire is moving. A few minutes ago, uh, maybe a half hour or so ago, we were farther in this direction where back then it was totally safe. There was no fire. The fire was way off in the distance. And then all of a sudden, an area that had been totally safe started to go up in flames. Not only one large fire, but several smaller fires breaking out around it. Those uh, little embers going from one area to another. And suddenly, uh, police officers, volunteers, trying to put it out with their feet, trying to uh, use uh, branches of trees to stamp out this fire. Uh, but this is something that is raging throughout this island of Rhodes now uh, for a week now. You can see over here, we're in the town of Gennady, where yesterday the flames made it all the way to the coast in some cases. There are people handing out water. Uh, there is an active evacuation effort here, and the anticipation that even this operation at some point may need to move farther away if the flames uh, actually get closer to where we are now. And we know that firefighters are using uh, about 10 airplanes, eight helicopters to try to put this out, uh, but right now, the heavy winds and the extreme heat uh, are really making it difficult to get any kind of progress on this, Savannah. Josh, also, there's a scientific study out. It says that these extreme heat waves we are seeing around the world, I mean, we were just talking about this with Maggie Vespa in Minnesota, now we're talking to you in Greece, that this would have been virtually impossible without climate change. Tell us more about these findings. What does this report say? That's right. Well, scientists have been looking uh, not only at the intensity of this heat wave, but also the length of it. Here in Greece, the National uh, Meteorological Association is predicting this could last 16 to 17 days, which would be the longest heat wave uh, in the history of the country of Greece. And scientists believe that the buildup of those greenhouse gases from human-caused emissions that have built up in the atmosphere, trapping heat, making this last longer, that obviously makes the ground drier, creates the perfect conditions for the kind of wildfires we're seeing here. Hey, Josh, also there's been videos online of people evacuating. I know there's a group behind you, even tourists who are at certain hotels that have to evacuate. What are you just hearing from people on the ground about how they're handling all this? Yeah, I mean, this is a place that people come on holiday, right? It's, it's a beachside paradise. Yeah. And we've been talking uh, with tourists here who came for a little fun in the sun, ended up sleeping on the floors of basketball stadiums, uh, in cots donated that are being put up in uh, classrooms of high schools because there's simply nowhere else to go after their hotels burned down. Some of them had to flee their hotels within minutes with nothing with them. Some of them were still in their bathing suits, walk several wow. miles, try to get on a bus, in some cases a boat, any way they could get to safety. Now, most of them are just trying to get off of this island as airlines are bringing in additional aircraft to repatriate people whose holidays have clearly been ruined. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, Josh Letterman, stay safe. Great reporting for us from the ground. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.